Hi, welcome to the budget keyboard build. Let him cook. Let him cook now. What's up, guys? Sauce Tech here. Hope your day is going well. Before we get started, I would like you guys to know I do make wallpapers and release them monthly, so here are a few of them. Okay, so today we'll be talking about how to make a custom keyboard build. This is my first keyboard. This is what it looked like originally. I've updated it since. I'll show you the sound test real quick. And the only mod on that is tape on the space bar and loop. The base for this keyboard is the Zia GMK67. You add your switches, then you add your keycaps. Then later on down the line, if you want to mod it more, you can change the stabilizers on it from the stock stabilizers, add loop to the switches, or even add the tape mod. I know you're wondering if this keyboard has software to match it. It does. It's hard to find online, but I'll link it below in the description. You can change your lighting, you can change or add macros and do it all that sort of stuff. And it's important to note that switches are important in building your keyboard. I have some switches that I already tried and I'll show them in a video. And then keycaps also matter as well. I have three different keycaps that I've tried and I'll show those, you know, a sample of those in this video as well. Let's get started with the unboxing of the GMK67. It's Bluetooth compatible, USB compatible, and it's 2.4 gigahertz uh, USB dongle compatible as well. In the box, it comes with the keycap puller and a charger. In this part of the video, I'll put the name of the items and the pieces in the keyboard on the screen. Lumia Switches really does make your keyboard sound different and it does give it a nice creamy sound. So I lubed them by separating the springs and putting it in a bag and shaking it with keyboard oil inside. And then I lubed the different pieces of the switch by hand with Crytox GPL 205. And I'm gonna show you the different switches that I have. You can do more research on different switches and find out which switches will be right for you, of course. And then after that, we'll do keycaps because keycaps also make your keyboard sound different. And my build comes out to $90 for what you're getting. If you like the quality, go with this route. But if you wanted to get a cheaper board, you can get the Tester 68 for $24. And then your total will come out to $64. I'm not sure if the quality will be as good as this though. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to make this video as simple as possible. I didn't want to make it too long. I wanted to get you guys right to the point into making your own custom keyboard the budget way. See you on the next one. Bye.